Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and welcome to Mail Monday, a weekly series that's not so much about the gameplay, but instead is about your questions and my answers to them. Let's do this. We hit it off, but now what? Help me, almighty Wood. Dearest Mr. Wood, so here's my question. About a month ago, I was at a dance for local schools in my area, extremely bored, and I asked myself, what would Woody do in this situation? So I went up to a group of five really hot girls I had never even met before and started hanging out with them, and I danced with four of them. By the end of the night, I had a few numbers in my phone. The problem is, I'm actually pretty shy and awkward around girls. That dance was the ballsiest thing I've ever done. I'm not sure where to go from here. I've been texting a few of them regularly, but now what? Thanks for your time and keep up with the awesome content on your channel. P.S. I'm in 8th grade and 13 years old. Not that that matters, but I thought I'd add it. No, it matters. Alright, we'll get to some older people's questions in a second here, but here are the things I want to get out for our young baller with all the phone numbers. Your options are somewhat limited because you don't have a car. That means you need to find creative ways to hang out with girls that don't involve, you know, going too many places because, you know, it's parents traveling you around and stuff. It, it's not perfect. Perfect starts in a couple of years when you start driving. The other thing you need to keep in mind is you want the girl that says yes here. You have, if I read this right, at least four phone numbers, but these girls are friends. Therefore, you can't just ask girl A, B, C, and then D all the way down the line. That, that's not the way you want to play this. Instead, you want to pick one that you like that will say yes, and then pursue her. If she redirects you to a different one that you'd also like, I whatever. Girls are girls. <laughs> you know, you're 13. I think what you're going for here is more of the experience to start dating, to try on this whole scene for size and see if it works. You know, it, get your player on. That That's what you're doing here. You're not trying to find your wife just yet. So, now that we've established that you need to do something and you need to pick the right girl, what the heck are you going to do? I've got three ideas for you in... in Eh, in no particular order. One, you can go to the mall with her. That works out well. Uh, the, the thing about going to the mall, you know, bring enough money to buy her like a soft pretzel or something like that, and, uh, and, and you'll be good to go. You know, you can go to the mall, you can walk around, you can shop, you can do whatever, spend a few hours there. And perfect activities in my mind are ones that both give you something to do and allow you to sync up with her, right? That That's the perfect activity. Um, movies is a common thought, right? Oh yeah, we'll go to the movies together, whatever. I don't love movies as an idea. And the reason is that it feels like when, I, when I, you know, you're at the movies, you're not with her. You know, you're there with Tom Cruise. You're there with Alec Baldwin. You're there with, you know, something else other than just your girl. If you're, say, baking, and I love this idea, I've mentioned it before, then, you know, you have something to do with the girl, right? You know, like, a, Baking sounds stupid, right? Like off the off the top of your head, it's not, man. You know, like imagine you're making brownies. There's stirring, there's licking spoons filled with chocolate slush on them, or whatever the brownie mix. Um, there's there's baking, there's waiting, there's like it's an activity that you can do together. But, you know, it's also a way to spend some time with this girl. That's the kind of stuff that I think you should be doing, especially at 13 years old, right? You're not going to go to the drive-in. Do they even exist anymore? They didn't exist when I was young. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah. So, you can bake brownies with her. Bring her over to your house. You can do homework with her. Get that sort of thing done. And, you know, don't worry about how smart you are or whatever. It's about spending time with her, and, and you might even find it's a pretty enjoyable way to study and get some work done. Or you can go to the mall and walk around and do your activities and stuff like that. That's what you want, you know? Pick one that's gonna say yes and identify something that you can do with her and you'll be good to go. Hey Woody, I'm a 16 year old kid from the UK. I recently went to a party and got a little too drunk and made a complete fool of myself. I don't even understand how I forgot the name of my girlfriend who I love to hell. I don't know how this happened, but now she's not speaking to me. There are pictures of me around college doing drugs and videos of me stripping. I don't know how to face this. I've tried to ignore it, but I just can't. What shall I do? Thanks, and keep up your great vids. Lots of love from England. All right, you've got yourself some drama, and you've come to the right place. It's practically my specialty. Here's how you deal with it, and I've got a two-part plan for you. One is just keep this in mind. It's not as big as you think it is. In your mind, Everybody's looking at this. Everyone's watching this video. Everybody's talking about what happened the other night. In your mind, it's the center of the world, but it's really only the center of your world. Other people are not as concerned about what you did the other night as you are. It's going to come, it's going to go. It just seems like it's the talk of the town because you're especially sensitive to 
your own needs and reputation and things like that. To everybody else, this is just some minor event that they don't care very much about. The second part of this, and this is completely under your control, is how you respond, right? The wrong way to do this is to get overly embarrassed, to make a big deal out of it, to give your haters the victory. Like, that's that's your mistake. The right thing to do in this situation is to hold your chin high and say, yeah, made a mistake. Mea culpa, which means my bad, um, basically. And, uh, you know, just look, I made a mistake. Things happened. I didn't know. Um, I won't be doing that again. But, uh, you know, here I am with my chin high, ready to go on to the rest of my life. That's the you that we need right here. We need the you that can say, it's not a big deal. I made a mistake, but I'm past it now. And it sort of directs everybody else to get past it too. And, um, and that's my advice for you. One, it's not the end of the world. Two, move on, keep your chin up, and then everyone else will move on too. First time cruise. Dear Woody, I'm a freshman in high school and this spring break my family wants to go on a cruise to Florida. I have no problems with this except that I'm afraid that it might get boring because I'm not going with anyone I know who is also in the same age group as me. I've never been on an actual cruise before so I'm not sure if it would be easy to make friends. Although not as urgent as those sex questions or a medical one, a reply would be nice. Mail Monday or a simple reply. So for this, I thought I'd bring in an expert. I have Hope here. Hey. And she's been on 11 cruises and has been through this routine many times. What can you tell our young man here? Well, I'm a very anxious person by default, and cruises are the perfect time to absolutely pretend who you are or who you want to be. You be exactly the person that you wish everybody thought of you as and you don't really let anybody know anything otherwise. It doesn't matter unless you actually meet people that you really feel like you can connect with, which I've done before. I still talk to some people I met five years ago. You can control what everybody else thinks of you and you have absolutely no history on these things. And it's really not gonna be boring. You're gonna be lounging at the pool. You're gonna wonder where all the time went. You're going to be eating great food, doing all these things and you're going to meet some amazing people out of it. So just to be clear, are you suggesting that he lies in this? I'm suggesting that he doesn't tell anybody anything that he doesn't want them to know. Exactly. That's you did the something thing. embarrassing? They don't need to they know. They don't need to know. Did you used to be fat? Nobody here knows that. Did your braces just come off or did your hair that you burnt off just grow in? That's your little secret, baby. You get to go on this cruise and be a fresh new version of you. And the same thing applies when you switch schools or when your military family moves or whatever. You get to sort of clean slate and make some new friends. And uh, a lot of these cruises, they have things set up to help people mingle, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, with the cruises that I've been on, the Disney ones, they're especially good at this. They have like a 14 to 17 age range, which I'm guessing is about where you fall into. And they do these great things, like they have dances and homecomings and smoothie stuff and all this stuff. And even when you go off to islands or anywhere where you're going, you get these structured activities where you can meet really cool people and still have a lot of fun without feeling as nervous or weird because you don't know what to say or what to do. They've done that for you. So there it is. That's our vacation advice. This sounded like a sponsored video. It really wasn't. You know? no. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, yeah. Invent yourself. Be, you know, the you that you want everyone to know you as and have a good vacation. But remember, don't make such a big deal out of it. You're probably never going to see these people again. Even if you do something wild and crazy, only you'll know. Very good. Sorry about the dog barking. <laughs> Making out with best friend. Hey Woody, I went to a party on Friday and I made out with a great friend. And now I don't know what to do because I haven't talked to her since. And I don't know how I feel about it. Love your vids, keep up the great work. Uh, for those of you wondering, because I was, I, I looked into it. Uh, the author is a guy. I won't do any more to ruin his anonymity. And the girl you can see he referred to as her. So this is a boy-girl friend make out at a party session. All right, there's two ways that this can go. She was your friend before, so that might mean that there's some reason that she wasn't your crush, right? It might be that for some reason you don't think the two of you are a good match, right? 
th that's one thing. And if that's the case, you need to talk to her and work it out and not lose her as a friend. Because it sounds like, even if you don't want her as a girlfriend, that you really value her, your relationship with her. So that's one way this could go. The other way is that you could have just broken out of the friend zone. You could have pulled off that rarest of rare guy feats. And if that's the case, then... Kudos to you, my good sir. So, you need to talk to her in either case, and you have to let her know what you want out of this thing. Either you want to remain friends and have a good relationship, or you want to be more than friends and take it to the next level. Don't not talk to her because you're scared. That's not who you are. That's not what Teen Gamertag is about. You want to tell her what you want and then go get it for you. One more thing, I had sort of a final note I wanted to toss on there. Attraction has an expiration date. Please do not wait four weeks, even three weeks or two weeks to jump and go after what you're going for. If she liked you this weekend, this week is the time to turn that into something more. Attraction expires. Seize your opportunity. Hey guys, here are two videos you may have missed. Uh, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe, like the video. Uh, the one on the left is how to be absolutely awesome at sharpshooter, and the one on the right is PK with Bash. Wow, you did that really good. This is her first take, and she's still around here as we recorded this, because she helped with that cruise thing, and I was like, oh, you do it, you do it, because it's funny when they suck, but you didn't suck. Yeah. All right. Maybe I... Uh... Yeah, I could take over this YouTube thing. Mm, you're Be my favorite daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>